Neil Dorian here from Spearfishing Australia, here with the legendary Rob Allen to talk through one of his new products, the Drop Barb Spear. So Rob, what makes this better than the traditional slip tip type setup? We've obviously spent a lot of time testing all different variations from around the world of slip tips or drop heads, and we just couldn't get around the play on the tip. You can get away with quite a lot of it, but there's always some play and that little bit, the slightest deviation can affect the range. We also found with a lot of the slip tips, they have quite large wings on the trailing edge and that definitely affects the penetration. Some of them as much as 30% loss. Wow. And the only way to test for that is to shoot into something really firm and check the actual depth. And then you flatten it out and you get a 30% increase. So to me, it was a, a no brainer to try and look at something that for one was low profile, very good penetration, and the tip of the spear, which stays perfectly straight with the rest of the shaft, keeps everything very stable. And it's also hardened steel for obvious reasons. Some slip tips, shoot them in the rock, smallest bend, they don't fit back on. This you can resharpen several times without a problem. Okay, how does it work? In terms of profile, it's recessed into the spear and it's held on by an O-ring. The O-ring itself, stops it coming off. Some slip tips, if you bang them, they can fall off. This won't fall off. But to deploy, the moment it's fired, the barb drops back. Literally before the shaft's out the gun, it'll drop back and self-deploy. It works similarly to a barb. It has to rotate very small degree, and then it breaks free. It's about five degrees yeah. is all it needs in terms of opening requirement. It's held in position by two pins. The rear pin prevents it sliding back as the shaft's accelerating, but very soon the shaft starts slowing down and then the drop bar will slide forward. Yeah, so there's deploy. two additional pins in the front. The shape of the barb as well as a fork, that creates a water pressure that also helps hold it on. And is that capable of handling hard fighting fish like dog tooth tuna and stuff? Very much so. Part of the advantage with two lines is you have twice the load bearing capacity, so there's less tear on the fish. Mm -hmm. And in the tests we've done, the line itself can hold over 200 kgs. There's nobody that can pull that out in the water. Then the bar pulled in the same direction is also over 200 kgs. So it gives you massive holding potential. The shaft itself, although it's been machined away to set the bar low profile, there's no stress against it because you're pulling in tension opposed to bending with the barb. Yeah. Great. Looks like a fantastic new product. It'll be available in Australia very soon. Thanks, Rob. Pleasure.